Hi, it's Kathy Ciceri for Chippy Tronics. Today I'm going to use an underwater scene featuring a jellyfish to show you how to make a diffusion layer for your Chippy Tronics LED stickers using semi-transparent vellum and some hot glue. So the circuit itself is pretty simple. It's just two lights with different colors and a switch that you just press down. When you've just got the LED stickers without any kind of diffusion layer over it, you just see that bright point of light. And if you take some cardstock or some regular printer paper or some of the vellum and put that over the light, then you're going to get the light spreading out and softening and get a different effect. I wanted to get kind of a 3D effect going on here. So I covered the vellum with some hot glue and I'll show you how to get it nice and smooth like that. And then when you put this over the light, you get kind of a subtle spreading of the light, which I think looks really nice. And it's going to be cut out from this side. There's some other little elements that are included on the template, so you can print them out and stick them on the outside. Let's see how it all goes together. Okay, so here I've printed the template onto some very dark blue-black paper. I traced over some of the lines with pencil so you can see it a little better from the camera and I've already cut out my um, jellyfish and I'm saving that because I want to trace some of these inner lines on the vellum when we get that stuck on here. I've got my vellum sized out and I've already drawn some lines just to show me where that's going to go. Unlike a normal card with vellum you might just tape around the edges. Here I want to tape around the outline of the jellyfish to make sure that none of the hot glue seeps out underneath. So I'm just going to use some of my double-sided scrapbooking tape and just put a bunch of short little pieces right around that cut-out edge there. You can do this with glue, obviously. I'm a little impatient. I don't want to wait for it to dry, so I'm just going to stick on my tape. I'm just going to Peel that backing paper off and expose the glue and stick that vellum right on there. Okay, and then my vellum's going to go right where I traced it. Just make sure everything is stuck on nice and tight. Using my bone folder here to press everything down. And let's see how that looks from the front. Okay, that looks pretty good. Alright, while I'm waiting for my hot glue gun to heat up, I'm going to uh, draw those inner lines on the vellum. Which here's a, uh, a lighter template that I printed out before so you can see what the lines look like. And I'm just going to trace them on the back, so I'm going to do it backwards. But um, that way I don't have to worry about it getting smeared by the hot glue. You'll notice i got a piece of cardboard under here. That's because I don't want the heat to damage my cutting mat on my work table here. So I'm just going to kind of make this wavy line for the cap kind of part of the jellyfish. And then I'm just going to draw all the lines for the individual tentacles. And there, yeah, that shows up nicely. So I'm going to be squeezing the hot glue into all these crevices here. Start with a not too thick a layer. And make sure you have plenty of hot glue sticks at hand as you're working because you're going to lose it. Use a lot more than if you are 
just actually gluing two things together. And that actually didn't come out too bad. Alright, see if I can get this string here up. And just put it back in the middle. And this little string here. And that doesn't look too bad, so I'm going to leave that. And now I'm going to take my next tool. The other tool that I'm going to use is a heat gun. This is a crafter's heat gun rather than one that you'd have in a toolbox. And um, it's basically the same as a very hot hair dryer that only has one blower setting. And the important thing to remember here, as I'm trying to smooth out all these bumps, is to do it in little increments and not too close. You just want to make sure that you're not going to set anything on fire. It's also, you can kind of see, it's starting to make the cardstock warp a little bit. That does flatten out a little bit after it cools. So I'm just going to turn on my hot heat gun. And I'm going if you see any other gaps, like I have one here, I'm just going to keep filling that in and then gluing it again. When you do this with soldering, it's called reflow. So here we are reflowing some hot glue, just remelting it and letting it settle into a nice smooth surface. Okay, at this point, I'm going to let the hot glue cool down and solidify and where the paper is a little uh, popping up I'm pressing that down to try to get that to stay flat. And let's come back and look at this in a few minutes. The glue is dried, it's cooled, it's nice and smooth. I did get more on the paper than I wanted, so I tried taking my permanent marker and drawing an outline on here, see if that helps it. And I also colored in the outline on the back side of the vellum. If I decide I don't like that, then I will just print this out and do this one over. But for now, I'm going to keep going and see if it turns out okay. Um, you'll notice that I've now folded it in half, and I've given it kind of the spine like a book because I did notice in my testing that you get a nicer effect if there's a nice gap between the lights and the uh, upper layer with the diffusion layer on it. So I'm going to put some spacers in here and not just have it sitting right on top of the lights. Uh, for now I'm going to use these lines that I put on the template and traced over with pencil to put my conductive fabric tape on. Let's see, actually I'm going to do the negative end first. The battery is going to sit on top of this layer of tape. So just bend it around the corner there. And Let's see, we'll go up to here. I'm going to cut it. And it doesn't need to be super neat, but I do need it to be the right distance apart so that it'll reach the LED stickers. Okay, and now I'm going to take a little bit of the leftover tape and fold it sticky side out to hold the battery down. Put that perpendicular, grab a battery, and negative side goes down here. 
and that sticks on there. Now for that switch, I've got an extra little piece here. I've already put some of my peel and stick scrapbooking tape here. And on the template, it's a little hard to see. I'm going to see if I can hold it up to the camera. There is a dotted line here that matches where this is going to go. And this can even slide a little bit under the battery and get stuck on. Just want to make sure that the longer piece is sticking off the card here. And that way, if you don't want it to turn on accidentally, you can leave that closed. And if you want people to be able to close the switch, then you can leave it folded up. All right. Now, I'm going to cut another piece of conductive tape, and this piece is going to go over our flap that is our switch. And that's going to be that long. And let's see, I'm going to do it this way, coming down here. And around the corner. And this goes right onto the flap that is for the switch. And I'm going to bend it back once more. And it's going to go up here. And I'm going to press that down neatly with my bone folder. And that should work fine there. And then I'm going to take my color LED stickers and put those on. I'm using orange and blue because that is what I saw in pictures. And you may notice I drew kind of a wiggly line across here. That's matching up with the line between the cap and the tentacles photos I saw, the tentacles were orangey and the cap was blue. And the two colors will kind of blend into each other a little bit, which I thought was a nice effect. I'm going to press this down a little bit. So let's see if this works. This one needs more pressing. Let's see, there we go. If your blue LED is not lighting up, you might need to try a new battery. Ah, there we go. So, this is now working. And just to test it out. Okay. And as I said, I'm going to put some spacers here. So, I'm using these. These are little Barely Art cubes, and I'm going to put them, let's see, I'm going to put them around on this side, right on the vellum. And these are, I believe, a quarter of an inch high, so that gives it a nice space. And by putting it on the vellum side, make sure that they don't show up on the front of the card. Okay. Now, if you want to be able to open the card up and get to the battery and change it if you need to, or just let people see the cool circuit that you made, you can leave the backing paper right on top. This came off, so let me put that back. If you want to seal it permanently, then just take that off and press it shut. Let's see how this works now. Okay, so now we've got a little bit of a distance and a nice effect going on there. I'm going to put some more of these squares around the corners of the card itself. And then the last part is going to be just to add some more 
decoration to the front. I've got some tube shaped coral and I've got an oyster with a pearl in it and I just colored over that with a silver permanent marker. So I'm going to put this to mark where the on off switch is right there. I'm just going to peel that paper off on my double sided tape. And my switch is right here. So that's going to be the spot to press to turn it on. And this is just going to go in here just to balance out the design. Let me look at this a little tilt. So here's my under the sea design with a switch that will give you a nice glowing effect for your jellyfish. Made with that nice smoothed out hot glue. I hope you enjoyed this project and make sure to subscribe to the Chibitronics channel so you can see everybody's projects. They're really cool. Thanks!